A suspected gunman is out of jail, accused of firing multiple shots into a Webster Groves home. Neighbors say this isn't a one-time incident. They claim issues have been going on for years. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Bush. I'm Kelly Jackson, and for Ann Allred, the shooting took place earlier this week on Tuxedo Boulevard, but neighbors are still frazzled and fed up. Justina Coronel is in studio. You talked to neighbors this morning. Justina, what are they saying? Yeah, so they tell me they're scared and worried. Now, we aren't naming this man because he hasn't been charged with a crime yet. And earlier today, I actually spoke to the shooting victim off camera. She tells me she still has the bullet in her arm. She's filing an order of protection, and she's adding security to her home. Police say Monday a gunman fired four shots into a home in Webster Groves. One of the bullets hit a woman in the arm. Neighbors say the suspected shooter has been an issue for a while. I just don't feel safe and neither do my other neighbors. This man who lives right next door asked that we hide his identity for safety reasons. He says problems have been brewing for years and just this week it escalated. I passed out on the couch and my child woke me up and said there were fireworks outside and I saw uh, all the police walking around. Police arrested the suspect the next day and found a firearm in 12 magazines with several hundred live rounds of ammunition. Authorities asked St. Louis County prosecutors to charge him with five felonies. However, the suspect was released. Prosecutors say there isn't enough evidence right now to charge him with a crime. What are we going to do if he come if he comes back with a, with a different firearm that they didn't seize? Hope we don't get shot ourselves. Multiple neighbors say there have been harassment issues. There's countless people that have reported this man for countless incidents. Neighbors say the victim and shooter know each other and most recently he's been living in a camper and tent in the victim's backyard. Living outside soon became a community issue. At our block party last summer it was the discussion then as to what to do about him because he was a problem then. You know, just odd behavior, people reporting that they thought he was doing drugs, you know, and then we started complaining to City Hall. Even this week, a group made their voices heard at the Webster Grove City Council meeting. For now, the suspect is out of sight, but I'm told the issues aren't out of mind. Webster's a great, great town, and but you know what? Things like this can happen anywhere. He was released without any charges and was free, free to go. That's really disturbing, and we, are the, the neighborhood here, where none of us feel safe. When I talked to that shooting victim, she said neighbors worry this person has mental health issues, but they want him to get the help if that's the case. Now, police say because no warrant was issued within 24 hours of the arrest, the suspect cannot legally be held.